Hi, it's Joe DeSanaika here from A Gut Instinct Essential Oils. So I am bringing this webinar to you this evening on how to reduce your toxic load. Um, this is something that I've been very passionate about um, over the last seven or eight years now. So I'll give you a little bit of history behind why I felt as a family that we needed to do this for ourselves. So um, back in 2010, my daughter started in prep, which was still play-based. And she sailed through prep, not a problem. But when she started in grade one, I used to get told on nearly a daily basis that I had a badly behaved child because she was refusing to put pen to paper. And she was basically refusing to write. She could read, she could spell, but she was refusing to write. And so that made her a badly behaved child. Now, um, from a mother's instinct, I just knew that the way that they were describing my child was not the child that I had at home. But very quickly I realized that my daughter was becoming very, very anxious. Um, she used to cling to me, she used to cry and beg not to go to school. It got to the point where she used to wish that she was dead. That was a six year old, so that was really quite hard to take as a mum. And so I started to ask questions. Um, from I went the natural health route. A friend actually recommended that we went to a behavioral optometrist, which I'd never heard about. And so we went there and they on referred us to a chiropractic kine applied kinesiologist and they did their work and we saw some really good improvements and they got us to remove gluten, dairy, sugar and grain from the diet. Recommended that we did the GAPS diet, which is the gut and psychology syndrome diet. And on referred us to a holistic GP. Now he ran a whole heap of tests. So by this stage she was into grade two. And you know, things hadn't improved at school. And she came back um, very deficient in vitamins and minerals, which was, you know, vitamin D, we're in the sunshine state, for goodness sake. Um, but also that she was off the scale when he did his ha the hair analysis test, she was off the scale for heavy metals. So, you know, mercury, cadmium, arsenic, aluminium, you name it, they were like really, really high levels, which was quite scary. You know, how had they got into it? She was only six seven years old um yes some of it could have been passed down through myself and my parents so through generations um but then the the gp got us to remove lots of things from our diet and also um to reduce our toxic load on her but also on ourselves like we didn't just do it for her we did it for all of us so that was why I started this journey now one of the things that I would say is that the information I'm going to give you tonight isn't I'm not saying go out and do it all at once you're going to become really overwhelmed and you're probably likely to fail um, it's much easier to do it in smaller chunks one item at a time and then eventually you'll get to the point where you've literally eliminated as many toxins as you can I mean you can't avoid them they are everywhere and you know eating out drinking out um, you know, your neighbor could be spraying something. You, you can't avoid everything, but you can certainly make a big difference. And it's certainly made a huge difference in my children's lives. Um, they've actually tonight just done a little video, which I'll share with you when I send out the replay on how to make your own Epsom salts. So Epsom salts have played a massive role in our detox journey. So I'll start with that because of this video that they've just created. And it was quite cute listening to them because they're admitting that when they go into a chlorine pool, that their behavior can go off the wall. You know, this is a nine and a 12 year old, but this is, that, that was my life when they were like three and six years old. I'd take them to their indoor swimming lessons. And as soon as they walked in to that chlorine in an indoor enclosed environment, their behavior just changed as soon as they walked inside that pool I mean I laugh now but at the time I was just mortified like I just had these feral kids but I knew as soon as they got outside into the fresh air they would calm down so they made some Epsom salts so this is their little creation from today um, and they've added some essential oils into that to scent it um, so they add that into their bath. So they never have a bath without a cup of Epsom salts in there, even to this day, because it helps to detox 
any toxins in the system. You only want to be in that bath for 12 minutes. So the reason for that is if you stay in for any longer, it draws the toxins out of your system. But if you stay in for more than the 12 minutes, you start to absorb those toxins back into the system. So it defeats the purpose of that um, Epsom salt bath. Um, so yeah, if you like to have a long soak, maybe add the, the salts in towards the end of your bath when you've only got like, you know, 12 minutes left to go. Um, so the other thing that I sort of briefly mentioned as well was the food. So we did remove gluten, dairy, um, sugar and grain from our diet. They're, un, they're inflammatory foods. But one of the main changes we made was we went organic. So I can probably sense me going, oh my goodness, how on earth? Like, it's so expensive. And yes, it is. It's not necessarily cheap to do, but there are ways around it. So what I did at the time, I've stopped now because my doTERRA business has become so big and I haven't got the time. Um, but I, I started up my own organic co-op. So there's lots of co-ops around. So it's worth doing a search online. I know that I can go to Unique, which is a wholesaler for, um, oh, it's got like personal hygiene. So I'll share some of the products that I get from there. I could make my own, but I'm just a little bit lazy. So I get a toilet cleaner from Unique. Um, I get all of my Kin Kin products. So these Kin Kin products are awesome. So this is a dishwashing liquid. They also do um, a dishwasher powder. They do... Um, a natural um, stain remover for the wash. They do do um, laundry liquid as well. What else? Do, I'm trying to think what else Kin Kin do. They're the main ones that I use. Um, but you're getting 50%, generally 50% off by going wholesale. So you do need an ABN if you're going to do it yourself. Um, but if not, find a co-op and you'll still be saving a massive amount because of the markup being 50%. Um, and it's the same with the food. So I found um, an organic um, farmer that farmed beef and pork. And so I used to buy a quarter of, I oh, still do, buy a quarter of a beast of, um, of cattle and I get half a pig. And for the pig, I get half of it done as bacon which is nitrate free again if you go to the supermarket and you're buying your, your bacon and your hams and that sort of thing it will have nitrates in there which can affect the behavior uh, you know it's an extra toxin that you're adding to your system it's preservatives in that sort of food so and it tastes so much better straight from the farm so grass-fed organic it's got no um antibiotics given to the cattle so you're not adding to that toxic load um, so I buy in bulk and it's and it's so much cheaper than going to the organic butchers I pay eight dollars a kilo for the beef and twelve dollars a kilo for the pork um, and that's any cut so you know I fill it you're paying that eight dollars um, yet yeah, you mince everything doesn't matter the cut all your steaks whatever you can get from my quarter of a beast um, yeah, and you get the bones, so you can make bone broth, which is fantastic. You get the fat, so you can, um, oh, what do I, I'm trying to think what, I, what you call it, where I um, slot, put it into the slow cooker and, and then um, I, I drain off the fat and then it's like my beef dripping that I can use for cooking, which is awesome as well. Um, what else do I do? So, and remember, this is all been slow process it's not something that I've done um, everything overnight um, I found um, an organic vegetable co-op fruit and vegetable co-op again it saved me so much money um, and the variety was so much better as well and the quality was amazing put it into your fridge it was a fortnightly it's a fortnightly co-op but the fruit and veg is still in such great condition after two weeks and it's got no nasties on there which is really and it tastes so much better as well so co-ops are a really good way to go. So Google, have a look on Facebook. If anyone's in the North Brisbane area, just you know, send me an email because I can put you in touch with places. There's quite a few out this way. Um, I also um, I have a, a, a friend from my daughter's school who owns the Our Eco Home Range. So this is her bicarb cleaning paste. This is amazing. So if you think um, GIF, 
So it's just a thick paste. You can clean your stainless steel sinks with it. You can clean your oven with it. You know, oven cleaners are so, so toxic. This works, and you don't even need to leave it in there that long. Five minutes, wipe it out, and it gets all the gunk out. So this is really good. I do have a recipe for making your own. I will share my ebook with you guys. Um, it does use the doTERRA essential oils, and they are quite, you know, this has got essential oils in there. They don't, she doesn't use doTERRA, but the essential oils play a role. So the citrus oils are very, de very good at degreasing. So, um, they do feature in a lot of the natural cleaning products, and that's one of the reasons why I was drawn to doTERRA in the first place. I was spending a lot of money on um, natural products, natural cleaning products, where the um, predominant ingredient was an essential oil, and it was like, oh, why don't I give this a try and try and make my own? So I do. This is a multi-purpose spray um, from our Eco Homes as well, or our Eco Clean even, but I do make my own. Um, too using my own oils just if I get lazy and I haven't had time to make it I do have one on hand so that's really good um, also hand wash this is a doTERRA hand pump but in there I've made my own so it's made up with castile soap water and essential oils it's got the on guard blend in there um, which has clove eucalyptus cinnamon wild orange and it's like an antibacterial hand wash. So it, it self soaps or self suds this one. Um, so yeah, really easy, it, easy to make. The kids make it up for me, um, it's that easy. Room spray, so again, it's a glass, I use glass, glass doesn't, um, the es essential oils are very good at being able to break down the toxins in plastic and so that's why you use glass. So this is a glass spray bottle. It's just been filled up with water. It's got 10 drops of essential oils in there. You just give it a shake so that it disperses the oils through the water and then spray through the room. So that's what I have in each of the toilets in the house. Um, so it's an air freshener, which is great. We also use um, natural products for our teeth. So I get this from my holistic dentist here in Brisbane. And the main ingredients for this is bicarb soda. It's got salt in there. It's got vitamin C, and it's got peppermint oil. Um, so it's just a powder, but it's very, very good for cleaning the teeth and helping to detox um, the mouth. Did you know that your toothbrush is one of the main things to hold on to toxins? So a holistic GP actually tells me to soak it in a very diluted solution of peroxide. Um, you've got to be careful though because it can cause some of the bristles to come out by doing it that way but he is like if you've got any sort of bacteria in your mouth you're going to be putting it back in there and we fight a lot my daughter has a lot of strep um, internally and so he's very adamant that I've got to be on top of that as well because it will be in a mouth and a nasal cavities as well um, I moved from plastic so in the kitchen, where possible, I use um, glass. So you, Kmart do it, Ikea. You can get glass um, storage um, bo boxes. They do, most of them do have a plastic lid, but the food or whatever you're putting in there is sat in glass. I also um, have a water filter. So I use the Zen water filter. Um, I do have an account with them, so if anybody is interested in finding some more information out about the Zen water filters, have a Google online. I can offer a discount off the recommended retail price, so if you are interested, just reach out. I'm happy to help with that. Um, we've had ours now for a couple of years. It is a glass base, so the water is stored in glass. It's a, it's a freestanding. You can get ones that attach to your sink, and we have had one in the past, and then the manufacturer that we bought it through um, went went on, out of business and I couldn't get the spare parts for it. So I've now gone across to the Zazen, which is really good. So yeah, um, anything that we drink or anything that I cook with, the kettle, you know, any of my pot, pans that I'm boiling water, I use my filtered water. We have filters on our showers, our shower heads. Um, 
We also have filter on the bath tap as well to try and reduce as much chlorine and fluoride as we can because again, it anything that you sit in, it absorbs into your body. And you know, it, from the holist my holistic GP's point of view, it's, it's toxic and you just need to be mindful of reducing those toxins. Um, from a cleaning point of view for the house, highly recommend Norwex. I mean, there's Enyo out there as well. Um, you can, I can use my essential oils with these, but you can just use water. Um, just really good, non-toxic. So really, sorry, let me put it on my face. Really easy to get rid of those cleaning products. Um, if we could say Airbnb now, uh, use chemicals in the house, it, you really can tell. Um, and so what I find useful, we have a diffuser. Um, I haven't got one out to show you, and I'm assuming that most of you watching will know. But um, So a diffuser, I'll just get one so I can show you. Just hang on a second. So this is a travel one, um, but it's the same idea. So you fill it with water, so there's a mark in, inside of your diffuser as to what your maximum level is. And then in the bottom you can see the little circle. Now that actually vibrates the water. So um, you put your water into the level, add your essential oils in there. Now if I go and stay somewhere where they've been using chemicals that we're not used to, because we don't use chemicals at all in the house. I will add some um, of the Purify blend that doTERRA do, which cleanses the air, pop that into the diffuser, you, you switch it on, it gives out a fine mist, and it's a cold mist. When it runs out of water, it automatically switches off, so it's safe to use around the children even at night. You know, if it gets knocked over, it just switches off as well. But it's really good at cleansing the air. So the Purify Blend is really good for that. And to give you an example of how, um, how I react now, if there's um, like a toilet duck inside the toilet, inside the bowl of the toilet to freshen the toilet, my asthma starts up as soon as I walk into a house that uses that. That's how, you know, it's how toxic it is. It can, you know, chemicals can cause respiratory. My daughter was actually in the Lady Salento Hospital in March. We almost lost her um, to a respiratory... They, they tried to say chronic asthma, but she'd not been diagnosed with asthma before. I actually believe it was something in the, in the um, environment. We'd had a very dry patch. We'd had a couple of days of rain. She got a bit of a cold and then said, Mum, I'm struggling to breathe. We took her into the hospital. She ended up being um, transferred from the hospital that we were admitted to into Lady Salento because she needed ICU. That's how bad it was. Like, she was real, like, we did almost lose it. They, they were struggling with the medication that they were giving her to try and bring around. Um, but she was on oxygen in the hospital for a week. So she was get, she was a lot better, Like, but she was in bed with the oxygen. And they came in to clean the room and we couldn't open the windows. And just the chemicals from them cleaning the room in the hospital started a respiratory. Um, she was struggling to breathe again. And I had to point out to the doctors, you know, because I had to buzz them because her breathing was getting worse. And they were trying to say it was the essential oil that I was wearing. And I said, oh, you don't think it's got anything to do with, I've been wearing them all week and she's been fine. You don't think it's got anything to do with the fact that you've just been and cleaned the rooms and I can't open the window. And all we can smell is the, the toxicity of the cleaning products that you've used. And the doctor eventually went, yeah, you may have a point. But they still insist on cleaning the room around respiratory patients, which shocks me immensely. Um, but I wasn't going to get into a battle with the hospital. I just wanted to get home as soon as we could. Um, personal hygiene products, so makeup. I've slowly, I must admit, my daughter's got a better organic um, makeup collection than I have, but I'm getting there. I've got a few. So whenever I replace a product, I go with something that's organic or natural um, because anything that you apply to the skin, you know, it's absorbed by your skin, so you don't want to be applying toxins to your skin. Um, I've talked about my essential oils. So this is one of the blends that doTERRA do. It's called the Hope Blend. Um, in this is fractionated coconut oil, so it's safe to apply to the skin. 
and it's got bergamo, lang lang, frankincense and vanilla bean extract. And so this is my, these are what I use as my pure fume. So I really struggle around people that wear strong perfumes now. Um, I used to love them and I used to spend a fortune on perfumes but now I'm quite horrified that I did because actually I was just adding to my toxic load. So it, it's so toxic to the system. So if you can only do one thing, when, it, when it's Christmas or your birthday, don't ask for perfume. Look, look for an alternative. And I can assure you, the essential oils will blow your mind. They, they smell amazing. And when you wear them, you can be out and about. You've forgotten what you've applied for the day. And somebody will go, oh, my goodness, you smell amazing. The amount of comments and compliments that I've had about the way that I smell, um, yeah, it's just off the scale over the last three years since I've been using the oils. Um, so yeah, look for something that's um, essential oil based and seriously, you're going to do your health so much more good. Use a good quality, like I do, obviously I use doTERRA, um, they are an amazing product, they're natural, they're pure, um, the, the citrus ones are fantastic for cleaning because like I say, they're really good at degreasing, the lemon is really good for stain removing. So if you've got a stain on your clothes, you can just add some lemon oil to the stain before you put it in the wash, and that can really help. Um, it's the citrus oils, the lemon's really good for removing. Um, you know, if you've got a child that's used a marker pen, my daughter's desk was covered in um, whiteout, marker pen, nail polish, and lemon essential oil brought it all off. Um, I did do a, a video somewhere, on, I think it's somewhere on Facebook, showing removing all these stains off a desk just by using lemon. Um, you can actually remove nail varnish with lemon essential oil without needing to use. So yeah, there again, nail polish. I get, uh, we use um, one from Byron. I don't know if that's its actual name. I don't think I've got one down here. Um, but there's a few about that don't have any of the nasties in there because again, you're applying it to your nail, it can still all those chemicals get absorbed into your skin and into your body. Um, nail polish removers, I don't use the acetone based ones, I go for the one, um, the natural based. Um, so the Byron nail polishes have a natural based nail polish remover as well. So yeah, don't get overwhelmed, just pick one thing. You know, it might be that you've, one of your products has, has run out um, or is about to run out and you need to go and get some more. Look for an alternative. If you're not sure, or you're looking for some ideas of something that works, because you know, I can tell you now, the dishwasher powder, it was trial, you know, trial and error. Some are a lot better than others out there on the market of the natural products. Um, but yeah, just reach out. I'm more than happy to to share with you the products that that we've used and that we've found to be cost effective, um, and the places where I source them from as well. Um, so that's it from me. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an idea. So for, there's, I suppose there's a few different areas of your life you can start with. So food is one. So look at trying to go organic. You can look up the dirty dozen with fruit and vegetables if you don't want to go the whole hog because of the expense. If you look up the dirty dozen, they're issued every year. And in that, it will tell you the top 12 fruit and vegetables that have got the most toxic toxicity in them um, from a pesticide point of view. And then that they're the ones that you want to try and avoid in your supermarket and look at getting organic um, or the organic version. Um, that helps reduce your toxic load. Um, so yeah, food, you want to look at, you know, cleaning products definitely. Um, because they are so toxic and there are so many natural products out there that can help. If you Google it, there's so many articles. You know, whatever it is that you're trying to clean, it could be that you've got mold. Please don't use bleach, it's so, so bad for your health. And it actually doesn't remove the mold, it just bleaches it so you can't see it. The spores are still there. You, you need to have something like a clove, a clove oil. Um, you know, even if you don't go with doTERRA, look, that's, you know, it's, it's completely up to you. I'm sold on the brand, but clove essential oil will kill mold. Um, 
and mold is so bad for your health. So if you're in rented accommodation and there's any mold issues, get out. You know, you, you've got the freedom to be able to move. It's a bit different if you own your house, but you really do need to um, eliminate that mold because it really isn't good for you, your respiratory system at all, or your health. Um, sun cream, we use a natural organic one. Um, again, because they're so full of toxins, you're absorbing it to your skin. In Australia, it's you no know, slip, slap, slop. You're trying to avoid one issue, but you're loading yourself up with another. I'm not saying don't use it. I'm just saying choose a good product. So the, there's plenty of organic ones out there that are high SPV, um, SPF even. Um, insect repellent. I used to use the most toxic one on my daughter. Um, Deterra do a great um, insect repellent, but the organic shops have plenty in there as well. Uh, and again, predominantly made of essential oils. So, and they do, they really do work. Um, we use essential oils. Our holistic GP often prescribes essential oil blends. Um, my daughter gets um, staph infection from mosquito bites. She just can't not scratch them. And um, yeah, he prescribes us an essential oil blend to to heal it up. And we tried everything from over the counter to pharmaceuticals, the whole lot, and nothing nothing was working. And yeah, this essential oil blend he gave us couple of days and it healed. It was amazing. Um, so personal hygiene products, um, hand soaps, even hand, sa oh, hand sanitizer. So I forgot that story. Um, we needed an emergency passport back in 2014. My mother-in-law was dying in the UK and we needed to get back urgently and Xavier didn't have an Australian passport up to date. And so we went into the passport office, me and my two kids, it was in the very early stages of the detox, really, I suppose. The behavior was, these days they're a lot more settled. They can come into contact with toxins and not have such a behavioral issue. But we were in the passport office and there was some hand sanitizer because, you know, that's what you need when you're in the passport office. I couldn't quite logically think why it was in there. But anyway, um, it was there. And as I was at the desk applying for this passport, my kids were playing with it. And their behavior got worse and worse and worse. I was mortified, absolutely mortified. If the ground could have opened up and eaten me, I would have gone there. And it was to the point where the lady that was serving me went, I don't know why you're getting a passport because those kids will not be allowed on flight. Like that's how bad it was. And I remember we had to go back in four hours and I rang my husband who works in the city and went, um, we're not meeting you for lunch because the kids are feral. And I'm not going back to pick that passport up. You are. That, you know, I didn't want to show my face in there at all. But as soon, I took them downstairs and I made them wash their hands in the toilet. And then we went outside. And as soon as we got outside, I got my husband to meet me because I couldn't have walked. The way they were carrying on, I wouldn't have gotten to the train station by myself. And he was like, what are you making such a big deal out of? Because literally they got out into the fresh air and they were different children again. Um... So yeah, I've got a major thing with hand sanitizer. Look, there's plenty of natural products out there. There's a lemon myrtle one that, um, I can't remember the name of the company, but there is a, one made with lemon myrtle. There's a hand sanitizer gel. There is um, Deterra now do a hand sanitizer on guard spray. So it's in a little spray bottle that you can carry around in your bag. Um, you can make your own with aloe vera and water and essential oils as well. Um, yeah, so there are lots of natural alternatives. So that's something else that I avoid like the plague after being severely embarrassed by my kids that day. Um, so, yeah, that's it from me. I hope that you've all learnt something. Um, start small. Don't get overwhelmed. Just take one product at a time. And before you know it, you'll have found products that work for you. Um and hopefully there'll be no going back and you'll notice a difference in your health if you've got children you'll notice a difference in their behavior i cer certainly have um and now that we get the um and the, the epsom salts so if you see a behavioral reaction get them straight into epsom salt bath if you can because that really helps to detox it out and i use it every day when they when they go swimming in the summer like the they know that if they're going to go swimming, the rule is that they have to have an Epsom salt bath afterwards. It's non-negotiable. 
So I'll leave that with you. I hope you've enjoyed that and got some information from it. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. I am doing a five day challenge, which starts on the 1st of November, which is to assist you in reducing your toxic load. I will share um, how you can register with that with the email that will follow up from um, this webinar. And so hopefully I will see you take that up. Um, that would be awesome. And it will you know, give you those step-by-step -step ways that, of how you can um, reduce your toxic load. Have a great evening. Good night.